Hi there, Blazer owners. Today we're going to be test fitting Swagman's XTC2 bike rack on your 2019 Chevrolet Blazer. This bike rack is a two bike platform rack that's designed to hold your bikes with three points of contact. You've got each wheels settled in a cradle that are strapped in place and we have a hook on top to clamp the frame down to securely hold it in place. The hook on top has a rubberized coating on it to ensure we don't cause any scratches or abrasions to the frame of the bike. I prefer this style over the hanging ones because it's much more secure. You don't have to worry about any potential bike to bike contact. The wheel cradles are adjustable on each side. You simply loosen the knob and you can slide it down the shaft to fit the appropriate size for your bike. So you could easily have an adult's bike on here as well as a children's bike. And it'll have no problem since our frame mounts can ratchet all the way down. You do just want to make sure that the smaller bike with the shorter frame is going to be the one here on the back because this is the arm that can go down further. When you're ready to use your bike, you can simply undo the straps on your wheel cradles and press in on the release button here and you can lift this up. Sometimes it's easier to take this all the way off. It's really up to you. Then you can lift your bike up and we can set it aside. Now that we've got our bike off, one of the features that I like about this rack is that you can get access to the tailgate. Right now we can't because if we try to open it, it's gonna hit our shaft here. But there's a pin located here at the bottom. If we remove this pin, we can then tilt this off to one side. And now we can easily access things inside of the vehicle. Now, if you wanted to leave your bikes on the rack to be able to access things here, Swagman also has a tilting version of this rack. So that way your bikes can stay on and the whole thing will tilt away. So you don't have to take your bike off and put the mast down. Now I've got some measurements for you. So you can see how the bike rack is going to increase the distance from the rear of the vehicle. So from our rear bumper to the furthest point on our rack is about here, it's about 21 inches. And from the ground to the furthest point at the bottom here, we're looking at about 19 inches. The closest point to the bumper is going to be here at about five and a half inches. You'll wanna keep those measurements in mind when pulling into a parking space or garage, especially before shutting your door or when going up a steep incline. And in those wintery months when you're not riding as much, you might wanna store your bike rack in the garage. And this would take up an awful lot of space. To help reduce the impact it'll have on the space in your garage, you can pull the pins here at the bottom and these arms will tilt up and then we can reinsert the pin. And you can see here, now it's gonna take up significantly less space than it would before. This bike rack will work in either a one and a quarter or a two inch hitch like we're showing off here. There is a sleeve that comes with it for your two inch hitches and it's secured using the included anti-rattle bolt. This will tighten down into the collar here, which will ensure that there's no play between the bike rack and your hitch. So none of those vibrations are transferred to your bike. So you don't have to worry about any vibrations causing any issues there. There is a pin on the other side to ensure that the anti-rattle bolt can't back its way out. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway. And that completes our test fit of Swagman's XTC2 bike rack on your 2019 Chevrolet Blazer.